Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader, and I'd like to welcome you to the AI Holly and Market Update for Monday, June the 25th, 2018. Well, let's take a look and see what happened today. Uh, I would definitely have to say the bears are back. Uh, had a, a rough day in the markets today, starting out with the Dow. Uh, you can see we uh, gapped down and then we pulled back. Uh, the only good news is that we uh, you know, had a little rally at the end of the day that brought us up above this resistance level, but we closed right below this 200-day uh, moving average. So uh, as you can see, that's the first time we've closed below it. Uh, you know, uh, and, and I'll bring this chart a little bit here. You can see there. So, uh, you know, it's the first time we've closed below that 200. So uh, we've certainly got some work to do to uh, get us going back in the upward direction there. Uh, the spiders uh, pretty much had the same kind of a deal where we had the gap down uh, to start the day. Then we pulled back. But a little rally here at the end of the day. So, uh, you know, once again, we closed below the uh, the uh, the 50 day moving average here just below it so uh, we certainly have some work to do there uh, as well uh, the IWM you know more of the same story now this one closed below the 20 day moving average so it's uh, you know in better shape as it's been leading the way and setting record uh, recent highs here but as you can see this is the third day in a row that it's pulled back uh, you know, the, the good news was we had the little rally at the end of the day. So with all of these, a lot is going to depend on what happens tomorrow. The IBB, it was having a nice uh, recovery going on to new highs. But uh, once again, it could not sustain that and it pulled back. And you can see here we have, you know, there was a high there. There's a lower high. Here's a lower high. But yet our, our, our lows were still there. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're below the 20-day moving average. Uh, we did have that little rally at the end of the day. So, uh, you know, we're kind of in that no man's land that we've been in for some for some time now. Uh, the Qs, uh, you, know, you know, same story here. We, we did get that little bounce at the end of the day. So we're up above this uh, resistance level right here. So uh, it, it's uh, like we've been talking, uh, you know, anything can happen from here. You know, someone can come out in the morning. Now uh, the president could have another tweet. It could move the market substantially one way or the other. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things happening uh, overseas uh, with, with the banking, etc. So, uh, you know, just a lot of things going on that can, uh, you know, turn this market uh, in a hurry. Uh, the TLT, you can see here, we had a, uh, you know, uh, you know, a little bit of a, you know. Uh, you know, moved higher and then it pulled back. So we have a big uh, topping tail on this one. So, uh, you know, and, and you can see here we have topping tail here and here and here and here and here. So, uh, you know, uh, TLT, uh, you know, could, could, could go either way as well. And GLD, uh, you know, uh, you know, you can see here a topping tail, but, you know, we're, we're resting on this resistance level here. And uh, so, uh, you know, we're just going to have to see where everything goes, uh, you know, tomorrow. Now we'll get a quick look at uh, Holly. Uh, and uh, with the Holly Grill, she had three trades and uh, made a dollar nineteen on the risk one, made two twenty one on the Holly two point three trades. And I'm going to show you something really interesting when we go to the actual charting. And so $1.42 profit on those three trades. $2.52 uh, was the uh, risk on profit. The Holly Neo, she had five trades, 76 cents profit, and only a penny on the risk on. So if we add it all up, she had 11 total trades, uh, 337 profit, risk on profit, 474. And if we take a look at this, uh, Let's go ahead and, for, well, we're on NEO now, so we'll look there. She had five trades, five, uh, three were short, two were long. Uh, her uh, best trade was uh, BJRI, and she made uh, 80 cents on that trade. 
and uh, that was also her best risk on profit there, 40 cents you can see. If we take a look at the uh, Holly 2.0, and as it takes a second to populate here, and you can see we had three trades. I'm going to grab my snipping tool here, and I'm just going to take a little screenshot of those three trades and put it right there for you. And you can see here we had the CADC, and if you remember that one, that's the one where she actually picked it uh, on Friday and uh, you know she made 75 cents on it but there was a lot more that, that could have been made and today she actually went short on it and made a dollar on it short so uh, Holly has played that stock both ways uh, but the three trades uh, which we'll show you here in a second and uh, that was her best trade in both categories and then in the Holly Grail Here's the interesting thing I want to show you is that, uh, you know, three trades there. She had two shorts and one long, but the two short trades were also the exact same trades she had in the Holly 2.0. So, uh, you know, she, she called them in two strategies. And uh, so it was a very quiet day on Holly today. And, uh, you know, last week I think it was I brought back our free ebook that we have to offer you. And, uh, you know, as I've said, there's no telling uh, in the, you know, tomorrow and the days ahead which way this market is going to go. But there is certainly a lot of fear in the market. And there's a lot of reason why you should be, uh, have yourself educated in how to do a short trade. And our book, uh, Ways to Win in a F Post. BTFD market uh, is a great uh, way to do that so that we have five ways there and uh, it is totally free here is the link for it here I will post that in the YouTube video so you can go to that and uh, just paste that in there and all you can do is put in your email address and that will be given to you you could follow us at bullseyetrader.com that's where our blog is you can like us on Facebook Follow us on Twitter or Stock Twits. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up and maybe even make a comment on it. That would be great. And if it's the first time you're seeing these videos, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down there in the lower right. I want to thank you for uh, watching today and uh, God bless.